hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is precious and if this is your first time here welcome i hope you stick around i wanted to share this makeup look with you guys this is like a neutral eye or neutral makeup look so to say it's good for everything for simple outings glam outings like it just goes with any outfit and um i usually would do like a shimmery eyelid but i recently started using matte eyeshadows for my eyelids and i really like how it turned out and i thought to you know let's do a makeup look and drop it on here in case anyone likes it and wants to recreate so if you want to see how i got this makeup look keep on watching also while i'm doing my makeup i will be talking on a somewhat controversial topic that just came up on the internet recently about makeup artists and them overcharging and all that so had one or two cents to drop on it so i decided you know what while i do my makeup i will share what my thoughts are on it if you agree or not that's fine but everyone has an opinion and i wanted to share so to start i'm just gonna go in with my boots rose toner this one right here so i'll just put that on a cotton pad and wipe my face with it next i'll be going in with the isn't tree hyaluronic acid toner plus this is one of my best um hyaluronic acids see i'm almost run out i need to re-up on this i know there are other ones out there i do have other ones but this one just it just gets the job done quick and easy so i'm just hydrating my face dousing it <laughs> in this Next, I'll be going in with my Beauty of Joseon Dynasty Cream. Trust me, this cream is one of the most luxurious face creams I have used. I know there are more out there, but this one is so good. I just started using it and it feels so good on the skin. So I'll just take, let me add some more. Because I really, really want to hydrate my skin. To talk on a topic that um, right now, it's kind of hot on social media i don't have all the details but from what i have seen online um it's bordering around makeup artists and how much they charge for doing makeup but bridal and party guests and all that because we all know there are different rates seeing as i want to venture into doing makeup professionally now um i thought it was something that it will be good for me to talk about so next up i'll just use my milk hydro grip primer this is the mini one this is the travel one that i keep in my mini makeup course when i'm traveling but the big one is somewhere right now i can't find it and this one was close so i just decided to use it seeing as i want to venture into doing makeup professionally now i thought it would be a good um conversation to have because as a beginner or as a newbie i'm not new in the whole beauty field and i have done makeup professionally before but i had to put a pause on that because it really wasn't the best fit for my life at that time i was more focused on my career i still am but um, i've decided to you know what give it a try again and do it at your own pace i'm not trying to be the biggest makeup artist or be booked every single day of the week you get but i just want to go back into the field again and do something that i know that i really really love so um as a new or would i say new and body makeup artist that i would call myself what would be a fair price for me to charge you know what i think i'm even um fast tracking this story so there are two conversations that have been online now one about a makeup artist saying that a bride came to his studio and um i think got her makeup done for her wedding and um he asked her what she wanted to use the makeup for and she said maybe just like a party guest or something i'm not sure if i have the whole story correct but then he found out that she was using the makeup for her wedding and he was upset about that and um at that point People are saying, oh, at this point, rather, people are saying, should it really matter? The makeup has been done. And he's like, oh, um, the, uh, it's her wedding. There are a different set of products that he will use for her, blah, 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 and all that. But it's like, makeup is makeup. If you do the makeup, if it looks good, if she wants to wear it for her, um, 
bridal shower her court wedding white wedding tried wedding is it really your business why are you so bothered about that that's the conversation online now and there's another story on tiktok about a lady who went to get her makeup done and i think it was like 35k and it was horrible her makeup artists are overcharging now so the discourse online now is a makeup artist really overcharging um should they review their prices it's a whole big conversation and i mean a lot of makeup artists now are offended and are feeling slighted because they're like i should charge my worth it's, it's my it's my craft you come to me because you like my makeup I have my skills i use expensive products the forex is going crazy right now products are not cheap if you want like a certain amount a certain kind of makeup you should want to pay a premium for it so that's basically the conversation now so i'm going to be using my um Too faced born this way foundation i'm going to be using most of the um products that i just got that i haven't used so this is new this is my first time using it so i don't know what it's going to look like but it should be fine this is in the shade mocha and i'll be blending it out with this new beauty blender i just i got recently from the girl's corner it's a beauty store on instagram so um what are my thoughts on this basically uh it's 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 a very dicey situation it's a very dicey conversation because one you cannot tell a person what their worth is you cannot tell a person what they are worth is, especially someone that is in the service industry. I mean, if if it was a, a case of, oh, I'm selling like raw materials, or I'm selling a product, you can say, oh, this is the cost of the product online and um, you're overinflating your prices and all that. But this here is not that. This is a service. And the thing is, there are a thousand and one people offering that same service around. If you go to a makeup artist, why do you go to that makeup artist? You go to the person because of the person's skill, the person's talent, the person's following on social media. You like the way the person does makeup and you want that certain look on your face. You're paying for the person's years of experience. You're paying for the person's products, the products that they use. You're paying for the experience, basically. You're paying for the person's time. If a makeup artist, um, if, if a customer books a makeup artist for a whole day for a wedding and the person charges, say, 150K, there's a reason why they do that. It's not just about booking the person to do your makeup. If you're taking that person out of their studio for a whole day where they could have returned back to and they could have met other customers, you know, and they could have gotten that amount of money from doing your makeup and like maybe five or six other cost working customers makeup like you have to you have to pay for that inconvenience you want somebody to stay with you for a whole day and get your makeup done touch up make sure that you look fly on your wedding like you have to pay you have to pay a premium for that like it's a no-brainer because it's not just the makeup that you're doing now you're paying for the inconvenience of taking that person away from servicing other people time is money as they say time is money and um secondly you're paying for this person's experience there are so many big makeup artists now you cannot want a oh i don't want to drop names because i don't know how people will feel but you cannot pay for uh, the makeup of someone who has been 10 20 years in the game you know the big people and you expect to pay them like small money also the kits the kits they use that kit they use trust me my two face born this way foundation full price i probably won't buy it pack me grab foundations are not cheap nas foundations are not cheap these people have tom ford illuminator charlotte tilbury powders all these things they do not come cheap and if you want a luxurious face beat you have to pay a luxurious price the same people that are complaining about the prices of makeup being 20k 25k see i, I can understand if someone is charging for a party look and they are charging maybe like 35k or 40k for like one hour or well, one hour face beat i can understand that it might be a little pricey 
to Nigerians because you're like, I'm gonna, only going to wear this for a while. But the thing is, there are other makeup artists that charge 10k, 15k, 5k for makeup. But the same people that are complaining about the people that are paying 25k for, uh, are charging 25k for makeup, won't go to them. Even if they go to those people, they're going to end up on their YouTube pages for, I went to the worst reviewed makeup artists and you do a video mocking them and posting it and you'll be complaining, oh, this person is not hygiene, um, my products are not um, sanitary, the foundation they use on my face is cheap, the blending was terrible, oh, I didn't get nice pictures after, all those things. That's 5K makeup, that's 10K makeup, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Somebody is standing for hours to do makeup, making sure that they use the premium products on you, making sure you look your best, I mean, 25k for a traditional um, party guest or wedding guest look. You, um, them coming to you, I mean, that's fine. The economy is also not, um, not the best right now. Not every makeup artist has a car. If they're going to come to you, depending on your location, they're going to have to take an Uber. Ubering to and fro from theirs to yours and back is not cheap you have to pay for that getting in their car and driving exerting that energy is not easy the fuel situation in the country now is terrible to get fuel is not easy to get down it's not like there's just so many factors that have made things go up but people see makeup as is it not just makeup it's not just eyelashes, powder and foundation. No, it's not just that. This is somebody's means of livelihood. And so I went for an event last week and I met this lady who, who does like, who talks about the finance behind being a makeup artist. And she can basically calculate how much it will cost you to, to do a makeup look. Like people have broken it down to that nitty gritty so that they can actually see the value of what they are doing. The value of the makeup that they are doing it's not easy like people need to be people need to be kinder you need to be kinder the thing with service providers always take a hit in nigeria because people feel like what are you really doing people who do hair who, who do makeup who even sew clothes photographers everybody feels like what are you really doing is that really a job is that really a job it's just a craft it's just your hobby and they give more preference or more respect to people who have like professional white collar jobs because they feel oh they use more mental they, they focus more on the mental to to achieve their their um objectives but the thing is it's not so we're doing this for a photographer you need to think of concepts you need to look for locations you need to think of positioning all these things for makeup artists too you need to come up with color uh, uh, combinations as should be now you cannot do the same makeup for for like three or four different brides. You have to look at what they're wearing. You have to make sure you have those colors in your kit. You have to make sure you combine the makeup well. You need to make sure you shade match. There's so many things that go into it. And as much as I'm campaigning for, yes, let people charge what they're worth. There are some people who are still sabotaging the makeup industry because people will say there's always someone cheaper. Like, as things are going up, as there's inflation in the country, as the cost of living is increasing, people should come together instead of like coming apart. People should come together and say, you know what? This is the makeup industry. This beauty wedding industry is really big now. And we should be able to charge and live off what we do for a living comfortably. It's your wedding. You want to look your best. You're going for a party. You want to look your best. Why would you want to do like cheap makeup? And when I say cheap makeup, I don't mean the price. I mean the quality of products that they use. These things don't come cheap. Go to some Instagram vendors on, on social media. Go on their pages and you'll see foundation. 60K. So concealer. I'm using the Born This Way Concealer in the shade 1 beige to highlight. Yeah, like I was saying, you will see makeup. This concealer, hmm, I don't want to call names. I don't want to call any name, but... There are some makeup pages I've gone to in Nigeria. And to buy ordinary concealer, Colourpop, 
you'll be seeing some ridiculous prices and you'll be like how do you expect people to afford this if you're a makeup artist and you're charging 10k for makeup and the same clients that don't want to pay 25k for a face beat want you to use pat McGrath illuminating powder tom ford this nas lip gloss nas foundation nas how am i going to be able to afford it apart from the fact that i'm buying products expensive products i'm spending money on transportation to come to you i also need to be able to look at the money and be like okay can i eat from this money okay i've done four or five customers this weekend if i don't get a job if i don't get any makeup jobs till next week saturday or thursday when another wedding or party goers start wanting to do makeup will i be able to feed on this people need to think about that they need to think about that honestly and let's just be nicer to one another you shouldn't have to make you shouldn't have to start making people question their worth like am i supposed to be in this field at all am i supposed to be in this industry at all when i can't even break even i'm spending money i'm working a lot of makeup artists have backache because they are working they are standing they are doing makeup back to back to back to back they have to go for massages they are aching they are waist down it's not easy it's not easy people can say eh but you're the one that chose to be a makeup artist yes i love it but they are also i wouldn't say hazards like hazard hazard but like they are also the cons to it as well and then having to deal with difficult clients difficult clients you have clients who are no show you schedule someone for two o'clock they don't come till three and all that and then you have to start considering should i do a no-show fee and all that because time is money like i said earlier like let's just be nicer let's just be nicer it's it's i don't want to ramble on and on but as with everything that is increasing the price of a makeup service will increase as well and i'm also i also understand fair pricing policy please if you're a makeup artist and you're overcharging because there will be some people that are overcharging if you can sit down and do a breakdown of how much it will take you to go to a client's house and do their makeup if you can do that breakdown it will be beautiful so that no matter what when you pay when you if you can pay the business back and also find something to pay yourself because you also have to pay yourself if you can pay yourself back you realize okay this is a fair price to charge for this and i'm not overcharging so that these conversations don't come up and it seems like the makeup makeup the makeup industry is just going crazy and people are just doing any throwing figures at you so to say but the thing is the truth is people will always charge what they're worth if you call a mario kim kardashian's makeup artist or a samurai kuzami abroad to come and do a master class are you going to be telling them mm, people are overcharged you know mm. no you will run people will run to go and watch them do makeup not just because of lipstick and eyeshadow but because of the name that they've been able to build for themselves their reputation their respect in the industry so let's also position our nigerian makeup artists in the same light and respect them and pay them what they're worth that's what i think that's what i think and the thing is if you can't afford it rest if you can't afford to pay this 5k for a makeup look rest it's not by force go and learn how to do your own makeup this thing is not hard they will call master class you won't go they'll tell you pay that 5k to do makeup you won't pay so what do you want what do you want do your makeup and go i'm not trying to be harsh honestly i'm not trying to be harsh but what do you want them to do makeup artistry is a profession to be respected it has built millionaires and billionaires both in Nigeria and outside, the makeup industry is a big and booming industry. And the people who keep, who are the live wire of the industry are the makeup artists because they're the ones who are testing out these products from big brands, using it on customers, reviewing. Like if you want to get the best review of any product, it's most likely going to be from a makeup artist because they get to use these products a lot, back to back to back to back to back. So they can tell you, oh, this performed well on this skin type. This didn't perform well on this skin type, like oily or dry skin type. They are very familiar with products. So they know the best kind of products to use on skin 
and all that it's not just oh i'm doing they do makeup when you go to a makeup artist they'll ask you different things oh what's your skin type what are your skin concerns do you have oily skin they need to factor all these in when doing your makeup so you can have the best outcome you can have the best outcome it's not just about uh, let me just slap this on your face or let me slap this on your face quickly so you can get out of my chair no so i'm going to be mixing two powders together um the mac mineralized skin finished in dark and medium dark another thing that i think would be good in the makeup um industry would be to charge based on or based off the products that you're going to use on the client so if a client comes and says oh i want 10k makeup or i want 15k makeup you know the kind of products you are going to reach for you're not reaching for nas you're not reaching for chanel you're not reaching for charlotte tilbury you're not reaching for tom ford those are luxurious makeup products and there's not they're not plenty they're all these small products before you pump them two three times they're finished and before you repurchase you're spending like 80k on one product i'm telling you this thing is crazy not everybody has access to purchase from um the united states or from the website directly because of um card issues and all that so you have to buy from a vendor here and the price they give you is the price if you need it you have to purchase it so what then do you do if you're busy charging 55k 10 10k for makeup for people who want premium quality products you have to charge premium prices like it only makes sense this is not even a conversation please if we go to the case of photographers these people are spending what millions on equipment hell let's come back to makeup artists when you go to a makeup artist they don't just come with their makeup home and their makeup chain they come with lighting they come with ring lights they come with cameras or oh, really good iphones these things are not cheap they are not cheap because after they do the makeup it's not really the makeup that you're after it's the content that they will produce with that makeup and they will post you on their page you know you want to land on their page you want people to say ah i did my makeup with this person she did it she did the video i mean her real mm -hmm. and you still want to pay that thank you <clears throat> so i did my contour my blush and my highlights and i made a mistake i didn't know my camera was in slow-mo instead of video so uh what a bummer but anyway this video is just a very simple video like i'm not trying to say too much honestly but i just believe that on both ends the customer should respect the artist and the artist should respect the customer like let's make sure that there is fair pricing policy on both ends let's respect the price that the makeup artist charges and if it's not okay for you there's always someone cheaper there's always someone with your price point there's always someone with yeah your price point basically there's always someone for your pocket at that particular point in time it's like you can't come and tell me oh I want you to do my makeup but you cannot charge me this price in fact it's what i want to what i feel like you're worth that i'll pay you no i'm sorry it's like a human being as well and you're entering into a relationship with someone and you're like this is who i am this is my worth i know my worth and if you want to date me or you want to be with me these are the things that i expect it's simple it's that simple but anyway that's enough of that so so i'm just so I did my um, brows off camera and I'm just prepping my eyelid with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyelid primer. So I'm just going to use my Huda Beauty Topaz Obses Obsessions eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this transition shade right here and I'm just going to pop that in my crease and blend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the eyeshadow in here a little bit and what I'll do after is I'll take a warmer brown and I'll use that to just snatch around my um, nose so everything blends in really nicely 
So next, I'm taking my contour powder again, and I'm going to use that to snatch the inner corner of my nose, but also blend that in with that eyeshadow. I'm doing this very lightly so it doesn't come off harsh. Okay, so now I'm taking this very light color here and I'm gonna be putting that on my mobile eyelid. And I'm just patting that on my lid and using the edge to kind of shape that out. Just pack it on and pat it on. I never really used to like matte eyeshadows because I would just sweep them on and I would always wonder why is the pigment not showing why doesn't it look nice but i learned you just tap it on your eyelid pack it on and it will stay and the pigment will show up so i'm just sweeping a brown eyeshadow on my lid honestly this is my like second time doing this i usually just use a black eyeliner but i like how subtle a brown eyeshadow is as a liner I've been incorporating new um, new makeup methods or techniques rather new techniques into my makeup and I really like it I'm just popping on some mascara so let me set my face real quick I'm using the morphe continuous setting spray Ooh. add this real quick with my fan now for the lips, I will use um, Paula Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Coffee, Artist Couture Lipstick in the shade Saucy Girl, and um, Lip Gloss in the shade Strip Sugar Baby. Pardon me. So let me take this out. So this is what the lip gloss looks like. And this is what the lipstick looks like and just a good old brown lip liner. So let me keep this down here and line my lips first. Okay, so. Just putting this lightly. I'm blending it in with the lip pencil. There we go. Then I will use the lip gloss as a topper. Oops, everything is just falling. So this is the lip gloss in the shade Sugar Baby. And I'll just put that in the center. Let me add some more. Yeah. I think this is good this is the final look let me put on some earrings and i'll be right back i hope you guys like it and um, yeah so i used um a lot of the products that i just recently got and i quite like it i think the foundation looks really good shade match is good concealer was good for highlighting everything looks nice and that's that stay tuned you. Keep on watching, watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.